Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, Danger, The Danger Beneath, a Pathfinder 1st Edition uh, podcast, real play, uh, thingy me bobber I play uh, once, one, uh, once to every, every other week uh, with these three wonderful people. Uh, we are going to be continuing from where we left off last time. Just a heads up for everybody, I am recovering from having food poisoning, so I may be a little lower energy or I may have to cut the session a little early tonight. But that is, regrettably, unfortunately, the uh, the case as to how that, that happened. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining us, and thank you for 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 uh, being here to uh, to watch the stream. Um, just so everybody is aware, I will be uh, you know I will not be really paying attention to the chat uh, as I will be giving my full attention to my players. And once again, as I always say, a lot of this is house ruled. So if things aren't quite rules as written, just you know. Look over it, cause it was. It's all. It's all real cool. It's all. It's all fun. Um. So we're gonna go ahead and go over to Discord and un undeafen, um, so that my players can hear me. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Doing all right. Yeah. I am. I'm doing all right. I'm slowly but surely recovering from the food poisoning, thankfully. Um, that fucking sucked, by the way. <laughs> Not gonna match. I believe it. Um, how, uh, so, I, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys, uh, once again, reintroduce yourselves and your characters. We're probably only, uh, only gonna do this up to, like, session 10, because these games tend to go for ever. Um... <laughs> Um, so we're going to start with Rugs. Why don't you introduce yourself and your, uh, your character? Hello everybody, I'm Rugged Sauce. Uh, my character is Ash. He's a... Ifrit Rogue. And if our, uh, viewers wanted to find you elsewhere, where would they find you? Uh, twitch.tv slash Rugged Sauce, and the same on Twitter. Awesome. Crow, you're next. Hello, hello, I am Resident Scarecrow, but please, just call me Crow. Today I am playing the lovely Brishdor Amorphius, a large man who likes punching things. Sometimes he punches so hard, rocks around him also punch things. And if our viewers wanted to find you, where would they find you? Uh, you could find me on Twitter, you could find me on Twitch, uh, Twitch over at uh, Resident underscore Scarecrow, or you could find me in your nightmares, or in the rotting cornfield somewhere out and back. Where would they find you on Twitter? Because you didn't, didn't say your, your your tweeter. At Strawborn. There you go. All one word, all lowercase. Um, and Huffy. Um, hi, I'm Miss Huffy. I play Juniper Sable Root, the um, little gnome lady that bites people. The smallish owl bear. Yeah. Um, and if people wanted to find you elsewhere, where would they find you? Um, Twitch.tv slash Miss Huffy. Awesome. Um, okay, so, as I do every session, uh, I'm gonna let one of you give me a recap of what happened last session, uh, to potentially get, uh, inspiration for this particular session. Uh, Rugs, it's either you or me. All you. Or... Alright, so, uh, last session started out in the tavern where which was founded by just a bunch of prisoners who decided they're not going to go further through the dungeon. They're just going to have a nice little life for themselves. We saw that our uh, current employer, one, uh, I forgot his first name, but Grey Manor, uh, he left. We had to get a new deal set up. Before that happened, Brishtor wanted a drink got his hand broken by Tathala, and then had it fixed also by Tathala. Um, had difficulty talking during that time for reasons pretty sure does not want to go into. Uh, let's see. We decided to uh, work with the guy who took over Grey Manor Trading Company for this area of the world. Uh, we got a new deal worked out. We have a sending stone, so once we actually get through all the tunnels, we can send a message saying, Hey, this is the path we took, and it's relatively safe. 
and spent the rest of the day gathering supplies, made a little fairy friend from the trading company named Willow, who wears keep armor, and uh, we decided we would take a nap for the rest of the day and then head out for the next day. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, that is pretty much exactly what happened uh, last session, and, uh, and we pan back in uh, to the bar as you guys were instructed to... Um, to meet up back there uh, when when everything had finished. Um, Willow is waiting for you in what is essentially an empty bar room. Uh, what are you doing as you walk in, and are, uh, are there any preparations you would take before rejoining your fairy companion at the bar? I have no preparations that need to be made. Yep, none. Uh, Bristol would probably take a quick swig out of the big old refilling tankard, which hopefully has meat in it. Uh, you actually have to choose that at the beginning of the day. So if that's what Bristol wants in it, that is what's in the tankard. Cool. Keep now running on one swig of meat and God knows how much sleep. He's ready to face on the world. Uh, actually, if it wasn't eight hours, you get a point of exhaustion. Nah. Like that, God knows how much sleep. God knows how many hours between eight and a higher number. <laughs> God knows how many hours between six and 40. Fantastic. Um, all right. So we pan back over to uh, Willow as she is sitting in an emptied bar. Uh, she appears to be, uh, adjusting a new, almost needle, like, it looks like a sewing needle, uh, rapier that she's, like, sticking into her belt. Um, and she'll kind of zip over to the, the three of you. Oh, good! I uh, we, I was waiting on you folks. You got everything you need? Yep. I sure hope so, because it's gonna be a while before we get there. We have rations, we have booze, and we have each other. We will be a okay. Wonderful. Um, what I, from what I understand, uh, from the last guy who scouted it out, uh, we're going down two levels to see, to check out the tunnels, uh, that are down there. We know for a fact we have a straight shot down two levels, but the problem that we're having is that those, the, the previous scouts didn't come back alive. We just haven't heard from them. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go check that out. Uh, <laughs> and she will uh, lead each of you uh, out of the bar and through the city streets uh, to a small, uh, like, uh, windmill-looking area. It's a, it's not a windmill. It apparently, it, it's, a, it's a crank mill. Uh, so that they could crank through, like, uh, wheat and things that were grown here in order to make beer. Uh, and the rest of the company are inside with a in uh, next to a big fucking hole that they've dug. Do we have ideas on what direction they went once they were inside? Uh, no, we they got there and then uh, shortly after uh, they said they were going through a door and then we heard the set what I can only describe as uh, the crackling of a fire. And then nothing. Ah. Well, they got killed. That's what we're assuming, yes. Uh, the uh, your your bugbear uh, uh, employer approaches you and and just kind of uh, smiles and goes, "Oh, I didn't think you guys would actually show up. Good, good, good." Um. We uh. We'll see you, uh, we'll, uh, once, once you guys get down there, uh, see what you can do about potentially clearing the tunnels, and, uh, and then we'll follow right after. Y'all aren't seeming to give us much of the benefit of the doubt. We were technically ready yesterday, but we were waiting on the ferry, if I recall. Yeah, Willow doesn't, ha isn't exactly keen on dying. I mean, understandable. So, we, uh... 
I, I just, I literally just got briefed on the situation. I, I had to get it from the rest of them. I'm new here, just like you guys are. Ah, then you shouldn't be doubting us. I yeah. mean, yeah, exactly. I just, it was, wasn't me that was doubting you, it was those four. Ah, we will 100% make it down the tunnel and clear out all the guys. Still, um, yeah, that was a natural, I believe, yeah, natural 20 on stealth. Uh, what are you doing, Rex? Oh, we're gonna go down this tunnel and not... Okay. Leave anything left alive. Wonderful. Don't you worry. Uh, so each of you, uh, emerge... On the uh, on the inside of, I'm assuming you're all following rugs. Yeah. Okay. I want. We can even see rugs for that. Uh, yeah. I'm assuming I can see rugs. Yeah. Okay. Who else can sneak with me past all of the alive things? I can sneak. Rugs. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. I can, I can sneak rugs. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Could we, he pretended as if he hadn't. I like passive aggressively said that we were like incapable. He didn't mean it as if you were incapable. It was just nah, surprised you showed up. Yeah, too little, too late, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so the rest, your entire group, kind of makes its way down. Uh, a good two, three hours of, of foot travel uh, into what appears to be uh, not cut. Like the stone around you is not cut stone. It appears to be naturally formed caverns with uh, doors uh, it cut into the walls. Uh, the Your smallish owlbear companion uh, seeming to, to uh, have journeyed over and found the corpse of a lizard man. Yeah, <laughs> matter of fact. Um, the... Uh, he currently is not wearing anything. It's just a dead, no. naked lizard man. <laughs> um, it's, it's got a, a pair of large, uh, gashes cut into it. Um, as if giant, almost scythe-like blades, uh, cut its, uh, its form open. Mm. Can we go the old sniff check? Uh, roll Perception? What are you sniffing for? What the fuck killed this in particular? Or where it's been? Or if it's diseased? Or if it's good to eat? That kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, it's It's been dead for like a good six or seven days. Probably not good to eat the liz the dead lizard. Um, the, the scent from the wounds uh, appears to be coming from this door here. Um, and also this area over here. Uh, so you have two options. Uh, as far as exploration goes. Is there anything on this direction as well? Uh, scent wise, no. But if you journey far enough over there, you could potentially see, uh, see what's over there. How far do I have to travel to, to see? Yeah, about right there. Uh, let me let me grab my other thing, my other screen, so I can carefully uh, unveil things with uh, <laughs> without unveiling too much of the dungeon. I have to surgical precision this. Uh, this this uh fog of war here i believe in this all right that's about what you can see so far okay so juniper hasn't been wrong yet so i'm just gonna follow along okay i guess i will go to the end and see what else i can see your NPC companions will also follow along. 
with Juniper. Um, okay. Uh, so, as you... <laughs> Bristor, are you journeying up this hallway by yourself? He just wants to see what's up there. Okay. So far, just a lot more hallway. Are there turns to these hallways that we should be able to see? Uh, yeah, give me one second. I'm working on... <laughs> I'm just making sure. Uh, yeah, there is another turn in there. Um, and then for a brief store, you see a good good little bit more hallway uh, going up your way. Um, and then you see a, a, a right turn uh, going into your your tunnel cavern area. Um, brief store, what you notice about yours is the, the farther you go forward, the less cavern and the more... Uh, uh, cut stone it becomes it's more uh this has been a manufactured area versus juniper what you're seeing is a uh natural stone um like archway type deal is it like dug out kind of deal yeah it looks like something very large came through here and dug mm, that's promoting let's go check out what brief stores looking at <laughs> Uh, roll me a perception check as you get about right there. Sure. Sure. Ta-da, 25. Uh, you notice a button right there. Ooh, a button. Um, there's a button here. Should I press it? At group. Oh, okay. Um, I guess I'll come over here and take a look. Can I inspect the button? Uh, yeah. Roll me another perception check. As Breeshtor just inches, inches farther away. Can I actually... Can I roll perception to see... To make an educated guess on how the wall was carved. What race are you again? Uh, Bristor is a half giant slash Goliath. No. Okay, so that's 25 on perception. Uh, it does not seem to be trapped or anything. It's just a button in the wall. It does appear to be the same texture as the wall, but it was a button built into this wall. They wouldn't hide a trap button. I'm gonna totally press it. Press it. Click. Click. As you press the button, you hear something from deeper in. Uh, what sounds like metal against stone, uh, scraping, uh, scraping the floor. I press it again. Uh, okay. You hear uh, n nothing after that. It's one of those one-way buttons. <laughs> yep, it is a one-way button. Ah, I'm sure that would have been just fine. How you doing over here, Bristol? Are you dead yet? I even fear not dead yet. What you have been looking for? This card. Sure is. Bet you this is probably the way to progress if it's a different style of rock. By the way, the, the floor above us, what kind of rock was that? Uh, it was carved stone. Uh, it was uh, made uh, made by the uh, made by by the people who kind of made the prison. You gotcha. So you never know. This might be the way down. You could be. Ooh, there's a. There's an options up ahead. <laughs> we, we have a, a decision to make. Oh, uh, so you're going to the end of the hallway. I suppose. Wonderful. Uh, so, as you get to the end of the hallway, you find out what the button oh. did. <laughs> oh, you know, I think I feel, probably would have seen this earlier. I have, like, dark vision and stuff, don't I? <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> as you get to the end of the hallway... You see a massive uh, statue 
uh, standing with two huge scimitars, just kind of staring you down. Hi. Oh. I gotta, I gotta hide that again. <laughs> Juniper just slowly running away. Your, your kobold friend was, was coming with you. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta Where did I go? Wait, that. what? I have no idea Where what I... the fuck did it, what happened to your character. Hello? Where'd I go? I don't know. Here, let me, let me get your... You're at your the very <laughs> back of the hallway, back against one of the... Oh, walls. shit. <laughs> I got thrown through the wall. <laughs> oh, no. Um, but yeah, Hello? so, so... Uh, I'm. Are you actually running away from the from the golem? Well, did it reply at all to my? Home? Uh, no, it just didn't move. Uh, does it seem bothered by Bristor approaching it? Uh, Bristor, are you? Do you get within five feet of the statue? Hmm. Has it moved the entire time Bristor was approaching? Nope. Then yes. Well, uh, so, Bristor, you also heard the metal against stone, uh, and, but it sounded very close to you. He just assumes someone has a whetstone. Those were used all the time back when he was a kid. Okay. I mean, technically, we, I could have seen this like 60 feet down the hall. Um, but it does not seem to be moving. Does... Or, uh leans in a little close and just Cologne? Are you okay, friend? Uh it does not respond. It does not seem to be ac active. Maybe we turned it on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the, the button turns it on and off. There's a thingy here. What is thingy? This is a door. <laughs> that is an open door. door. Peek, peek head through door. What, what find door? <laughs> One second. Uh, through the door, you find another hallway. Uh, <sighs> my weakness. This, in, inside this hallway are murals of, uh, of different, uh, events depicting, uh, gods in different, uh, battles throughout history. I like this hallway. It's cool. Uh, is there one with Titanus in it? Yes, there is. Uh, it depicts Titanus uh, basically choking Tevelian out uh, in a wrestling match. Oh, hell yeah. My boy Titan. How cursed is this hallway? We'll find out. <laughs> we shall on. find out. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Nut. Hello. And... Dragon Ball D. Hello. So as you as you uh, come into that area, you find a treasure chest. Mm. Ash immediately. <laughs> treasure, you say? <laughs> I just—it's more so locks. <laughs> I will be ready to bite it. That you're the best locksmith. I'll be ready to bite it if it bites you. Can you believe the fucking market marketing I'd have if we get out of here as a locksmith? Hell yeah, I'll vouch for you. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll unlock this dumb bitch. Okay, uh, so first roll perception to see if it is locked. Can't we just tug on it and see if it's like? 27. Uh, no, it is not. It does not appear that this particular chest is locked. This is not even locked. Uh, go ahead and, uh, once you open the chest, roll me a d10. Clearly, word of my prowess got out, and they're just not even bothering to lock things up anymore. See, that's the thing. The loot surprised drop. surprised if it was Kiss. The loot drop has like a one in ten chance of straight up being a mimic, even though you've had a look at it. 
this this sus suspect little thing. I, I still have beef with the fucking green box from the other room. Six. Uh, inside you find a uh, a belt uh, with a clasp that is the head and tail of a snake. Okay. Uh, when you like when you clasp it together, the uh, the snake's head bites on the tail. Oh, it's like a little Orboros. Yeah. Anybody else want this one? <laughs> uh, you know, I don't think I have a belt at the moment. It I bites, totally like you do. Yeah, it's making you tough. And aesthetic oh, for for me. aesthetics, the uh, the snake does, is wearing an eye patch. <laughs> I know which one this is. Don't worry. <laughs> I will. I will send you. Uh, I will send you the stats for that in DMs. Um, I have but, it in my inventory as snake. Snake. Belt. Uh, it. It. Uh, the snake belt. It, uh, gives you plus one to AC. Uh, just so you're aware. Okay. It's going in the AC AC items as well. All right, and then we're gonna. I'm gonna pop right back over to the. The map and reveal the next area. There's another chest. Aha! Treasure. Treasure. Is this one locked? Uh, roll perception. Can I just tug on it? Uh, yeah, you can. Tug, tug. Don't worry. Uh, okay. Um, so, uh, I need you to roll me a reflex save. <laughs> I would say rule of threes, it's the third one that's going to be fucking trapped. See, that's what I thought. But this one, this motherfucker's Uh, fire. you, you, uh, you, as you, as you attempt to open the chest, uh, three slots on the, uh, on the wall open up and attempt to shoot you with arrows. Uh, missing you entirely. You fuckers. But hey, you've triggered the trap, which means can't possibly be a second trap, can there? Did it open when I tugged on it before? No, it's locked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look somewhere else to hold that. I'm gonna go over here and look at this probably hallway or something. Okay, disable, wait, is it sleight of hand? Uh, yeah, I believe there should be either sleight of hand or I think there's disable device. I do, I just didn't know which one it was. Um... Uh, it would be disable device. Um, also, Huffy, there's a third chest! Ooh. Is that a natural one total 15? Yes. You fail so hard you succeed. <laughs> like, you are fiddling with it, and it accidentally goes off, but instead of hitting you, uh, it just jams the crossbows inside, and it breaks. It was double-trapped? Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I fucked up. <laughs> oh, man. Now to unlock it, it would be sleight of hand. Yeah, okay, let's go ahead. What was the roll? Wow. We can't keep getting away with oh this. Oh my god. <laughs> Pick it with the crossbow bolt. <laughs> so rugs, because that's two natural ones in a row, I'm going to ask you, do you want to use your inspiration? Because you've got a bunch of them. Yeah, let's use one. Because I do want to open this fucking chest. And it doesn't do us any good if it's just fucking locked closed. Yeah, no, absolutely. 
Okay, okay much better. So you get it open. Uh, roll me a d10, please. A nine. Okay. Um, inside is a, um, a beautiful, uh, leather, uh, a beautiful, uh, chest, a leather chest piece, um, with, uh, what appears to be, uh, like, almost gossamer thread looking designs on it with, like, uh, with, um, like, snowflake designs kind of attached to each of the little, like, uh, wavy looking designs on it this is a br uh, a um uh this is leather armor of cold resistance yeah i'll throw that on and now there is a third chest uh, i think i wasn't cursed yeah no it's not it's not cursed uh so far as you know I don't even know if I trust it anymore. <laughs> Juniper no longer likes chests and is going to try to bite this one open. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll me. Roll an attack roll. Cool. 19. You hit. Uh, roll a reflex save. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> Uh, dirty 20. As you bite the chest, uh, your companions see a gout of flame attempt to hit you as you <laughs> jump backwards. Yeah. Fucking thing. <laughs> I assume my bite did not uh, succeed No, so yeah, well. it, it, it did not succeed other than just... There are now teeth marks in the nice fancy chest. Mm. Sit in the corner. <laughs> uh, you go it's over. Fire. Yeah. I got this. Yeah. Oh, fuck fire. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You can 100% get it. And not only do you get, not only are you able to disable the device, you are also able to get uh, a, if you want it, a small. Uh, it, firebomb grenade. Absolutely. Uh, to use that, you would use it, you would th use a ranged, uh, a ranged attack. Uh, so you're just add your, your, uh, ranged attack bonus. I do believe that's a thing in Pathfinder. I'm not positive. I'm still yeah, not 100% on all the rules. <laughs> it would just be called ranged on the sheet, but it's the basic ranged attack rule. Yeah. And then, uh, it does 3d6 damage. Oh, nice. And you are, in fact, able to unlock the chest uh, with your two. Your natural two on the dice. <laughs> Plus 15 sleight of, oh 15 sleight of hand. Jesus Christ. You really roll one direction or the other, huh? <laughs> uh <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you roll middling. I mean, that, that uh, disabled device was a six. Okay, but a six is terrible. Um... You are able to open it. Roll me, roll me another D10, please. I gotta make another like chart for for loot. <laughs> A two. A two. Um. You find inside a small um wand of some kind. You don't know what it does, but you find a, a wand. I will pick up the stick. Awesome. Roll a will save. Aha, you found the thing I don't have a bunch of modifiers for. That's a six. Uh, you hear in your mind, Hello there. How may I assist you? We're trying to get out of prison. Oh, goodness. I didn't realize I was in a prison. It's a really big prison. I see. Last for why I heard, I was inside of a fortress. Um. I think they turned the fortress into a prison. 
That makes sense. The majority of it was underground. Uh, good thing for you. You are near the exit. Uh, this is, for the most part, the last floor of, of the fortress. Uh, leaving from here goes to the Underdark. That doesn't sound much better, but it's a step in the right direction. It's better than being in prison, I would say. At least in the Underdark, you're free to die however you wish. And what's your name? Like <laughs> uh, my name is Bertrand. Bertrand Wrightsmile. Hold on one second. I assume we're just seeing uh, Ash talk to himself? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. I spelled it in the, uh, in the, in the role corner. Bertrand. Perfect. Well, um, glad to have you aboard. Glad to be aboard. It's better than being locked in a box. Uh, just so you're aware, uh, the wand in which my soul has been transmuted into, uh, can cast twice per day the spell Magic Missile. It was my invention. You invented Magic Missile? I am indeed the man who invented Magic Missile and the spell, sh the shield spell. This is the greatest day of my life. It can cast Magic Missile and it can cast Shield, just so you're aware. And both of them have two charges per day. Do you, okay, we're going to get out of here and we're going to get you a body, maybe? I don't know. That, that would be that? riveting. A friend of mine was working on that. Uh, but unfortunately, I have not seen him in millennia. So, um... If we could, in fact, get out of this place, I would be very, very grateful. All right. Guys, I found a wand, and it's a guy. Maybe. Uh, 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 what's, what's it, about? Its name is Bertrand. The wand used to be, I guess, a wizard? Uh, yes, he is a wizard. <laughs> and apparently invented magic missile. How cool is that? Did you hit your head? No. I did, however, pick up a talking stick. Juniper's gonna stare at the stick. It's not talking. Uh, if I... Would Juniper like to touch the stick? Can I poke Juniper nope. with the stick? Yeah, if you poke Juniper with the <laughs> stick and Juniper fails the will save, she will also have to hear Bertrand. Hell yeah. Will save time. You can either... In, you can intentionally fail it. Nah, uh... <laughs> Um, if this so, is an illusion, that's the 15. Uh, so that, it is not an illusion, um, and you do not particular you do not complete the, the DC 14 wheel save. <laughs> um, oh, hello there. Uh, another person that can finally hear me. I was stuck in that box so long, I was, what, I was worried no one would be able to hear my quippy, my, my quippy one-liners. My question is, if I disconnect the connection to Juniper, does he, Juniper stop hearing him? Nope. <laughs> oh, because I did try that directly out as... He was... Okay. I think as soon as the wand starts talking, she's going to yelp and smack the wand out of, out of Ash's hand. <laughs> uh, roll me an attack roll, please. Uh, uh... Bristor, no, you do not hear this. Should I just roll bite and assume it's not actually a, a bite? No, just roll me an unarmed strike. Melee. 26. You are able uh, you are able to knock the, the wand out of his hand. And uh, Bertrand just goes, Well, that was very rude of you. Very rude indeed. You're right, it is a talking stick. That's fucking weird. You. Could someone please pick me back up? Uh, I would like to have Bristor pick up the stick, just do not hear stick. Roll them at will save, Bristor. What? Roll a will save, and because you're naturally psionic, you would be able to tell something is trying to poke inside your brain. You are able to resist <laughs> it, but you can you can intentionally fail. Oh no, Bristor would be like... Well, just trying to get in here. Do not trust. If he doesn't let me yes. in, I cannot speak to him. That 
That's bad. That's, that's bad. That's really, really bad. That's that's a shame for sure. It, but I think you're better off. I think you made the right call. Well, I disagree. I think he he made the wrong call. I am not, and I promise you, I am nothing but benevolent. No, oh, I believe you. But you can only be in so many brains at once. Technically, I, I can be up to six. I think the tighter we keep this secret, the better chance we have making it out of here with you intact. That is a good point. If you try reading my thoughts, I'm going to eat you. I can't read your thoughts. I can only project mine into your mind. Mm, good. So we have uh, to respond out loud. hands to stick back to Ash, just... He's trying to get in here. Do not like, do not trust. I get that. And yes, you do have to respond to me out loud, or I cannot hear it. Okay, y'all ready to be on our way? Yeah. And is it just the same stats as leather armor? Uh, yeah, it's the same stats as standard leather armor. Uh, but, uh, but it, um, yeah, the standard stats, but gives you resistance to cold damage. Um, what's your, okay, first door's going over there. I was about to ask what your, um, your visual was. Like your visual range. Not that far. I'll yeah, but I know Juniper's leather armor in the in the hole. Or in the, the before I leave, I'll just swap out the leather armor. Nice. Okay. Uh, so as you as Juniper kind of approaches the uh, the next room, uh, and Juniper and Bristor. You're able to see a large room with six pillars, and in the middle of the room is a well. Uh, Jennifer, roll perception. <laughs> found a secret. I didn't mean to. <laughs> or I, I might not actually find it. We'll find out. 24. You find another button! Ooh! I found another button. I assume Pretty that... sure I'm going to let you check that out before I press the button, just in case this time it doesn't work out for us. Actually, it'll probably work up the robot. Let's not press the button. I mean, that's up to you. You can. You don't have to press the button, but you don't know whether or not it will wake up the robot. You know the last one woke up the robot. Yeah. That, that's just oh, but it also turned it off? It. Yeah, it also turned off the robot. Uh, is it just leans on the edge of the well and just peers down? Uh, it, the well is full up to about just beneath the lip with an opaque silver liquid. Unicorn blood? What is this? And with without even doing much thinking, he just sticks a hand in to, like, scoop a little bit of the liquid into his hand. I don't know. Can I roll, like, an, a survival roll to try to see if I know what this stuff is? Restore, you take two points of acid damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's there's no there's no saving for stupid. Can I, can I still... Roll? You may. You may roll, uh, you may roll survival um you could also roll nature depending this one's higher <laughs> okay um so you roll an uh, an 18 and you are able to tell that this is i uh, not an in fact not blood uh it is what appears to be uh a uh it appears to be icker from some form of massive creature that was bloodletted here uh it's not it's not quite the same as blood it's similar though also so i'm assuming no yeah. one touches the button <laughs> i'm gonna ask the stick is, is this unicorn blood i think it might be uh so uh <laughs> what 
What is this? And I'll point the stick toward the, the stuff. Um, it appears, uh, from what I can tell, um, dip me in it, and I will tell you. Okay, I'll, I'll dip the tip. This is blood from a hook horror. Icker. Okay. It's Icker from a hook horror. Okay, guys, this is Icker from a hook horror. Ah, um, yeah, definitely don't drink it then. Um... I'll rummage through uh, and dump out a bottle of toilet wine. Okay. And try and fill a bottle up carefully with this stuff. Uh, so the icker melts the bottle. Damn. Well, I tried. Wait, what kind of bottle? That was the, the wine bottle. We have a fancier bottle. Do you? The one that we can fill with anything, right? I... You do have the body of a mimic. Although, actually, why do we need to? <laughs> do you need this blood for some reason? I actually don't. I was going to see maybe if I could tip my dagger in it, but I've already got a poison dagger, so. Ah, understandable. You would need uh, the ability to enchant things to do that. If I had something in it, I could just kind of like, you know, like dump it into a sheath a little bit, you know? That's fair, but with, with Demon Icker, that would end up probably melting the sheath and your weapon. Exactly. Since it melted the, the glass bottle, I'm not even going to try. Imagine okay. knowing I don't know magic. Me neither. Willow will will come over. I know magic. Hey, grats. You can you do anything with hook horror icker? Uh get the fuck away from it. That's that's what I can do. That okay. shit is cursed. Alright, now that we've decided that this is not a good thing, I'm gonna press this button and I bet you it's gonna do something to and change what's in there. Stick, is there something about this button? Uh, Kobold and uh, Lion Friend should probably stay away from the statue while we do this, by the way. The, uh, okay. So they, they will walk, uh, the, the, your Lion Friend will, Raymond uh, will walk over and, and as will the Kobold and kind of go, and the Kobold goes, I don't know, guys! This seems dangerous to me! Don't worry, we got a stick checking it out. Um, the name is Danger. And I'll hold up my divining stick towards the button. <laughs> the, the stick will go, I, um, I do not know. We had, uh, kobolds build all of the traps, so I'm not positive. Okay. And our kobold is saying this is a bad idea? Uh, yeah, he is, but he also thinks everything is a bad idea, because he is terrified because he is a level one kobold. Nah, I'm sure it's <laughs> Kobold, if you were an engineer, would this be a trap or good? Uh, technically I am an engineer. Hold on, let me look at it. <laughs> Hey, and do your engineer stuff. Um, this this appears to be a teleporter, from what I can tell. You hit the button and it activates, and someone and whatever's standing in front of it is teleported somewhere. Hey, Willow, come check this out. Bzz, little hummingbird noises. Uh, yeah, what's up? Have you tried press, pressing? Do you like pressing buttons? Not particularly. Usually, <laughs> buttons are bigger than I am. If we're being well, experimental, a... I don't mind. I, I, I'm here for it. <laughs> we don't have a way to you talk to each other. None of us go fucking send or up. message. Well, I have another sending oh, stone, uh, Willow will say, as she holds up her own sending stone. Oh. Ah, perfect. So I can take this and see where it sends me. If you would like. How's that for fun? We don't also, really have a way to get you back. Well, Wait. Normally no, these are no normally you said the exit is nearby. Y yes, yes it is. You must. You would still have to go through um, the temple and then the two trapped rooms beyond the temple. But yes, you could get there in theory. Okay, so the stick says that there's a temple and two trapped rooms, or we can try whatever this teleporter is. I ain't scared. I'll try it. 
Okay, uh, as you press the button, uh, <laughs> guess I press the button. <laughs> we. You you uh, appear in what appears to be the fucking smallest room you've seen in a hot minute. It's probably only tall enough for like. Ash to very barely stand, and his head would touch the ceiling. Bristor would have to kneel to be in this room. And right in front of you is a box. Another chest. Oh. Ah, fuck. My worst nightmare. I've been brought here into this one hell with one box. <laughs> there is another button on the on the, the wall behind you. Okay. So I'm going to hold the box. Can I pick it up? Is it how big it, it is about as about as tall and wide as you, and a little wider than you, and as tall as you are. Okay, so can I like grasp it and also press the button to see if I can teleport? The teleporter is a one five foot square. There. Oh, I gotta shove it. All right, I gotta squeak in my right here and shove it. <laughs> okay, so roll me a strength check. You got it. Oh, well, you know what? I'm going to bear form. Let's increase that a little bit. Uh, does your bear form change your size category at all? No. Okay, Nothing so you're still my size category. So you're still, still small. Very small. Okay. <laughs> you are just barely because you are a bear able to move this into your five foot square, and hit the button. <laughs> and so Juniper appears back here. With a chest, uh, on uh, in like the same square. I didn't die, and I got a box. I need you to defuse this box for me. Okay. Now we'll take a look at the box. Okay. Uh, you can either roll me perception to to check and see. Okay, there we go. Uh, it is, in fact, both trapped and locked. Okay. Let's go ahead. I was gonna die in there if I didn't... Go ahead and disable this bad boy. You guys might want to step back. I haven't had the best... Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's back up. The kobold and Willow will, will both, uh, back up from where, from where the box is. Okay. 25. Okay, so you are able to uh, to open, you're able to, to, to disable disable the trap, getting yourself another uh, bomb, uh, another firebomb grenade, um, and now roll me sleight of hand to see if you can unlock it. Another 25. Jesus, you really don't roll but one way or the other. Uh, <laughs> it was funny. You said you never roll in the middle, and then I immediately started rolling in the did. middle. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So uh, you open the you open the chest. Roll me a d10. Uh, Ten. Okay. Um, inside is a beautiful, uh, a beautifully uh, crafted. Scimitar. The scimitar is uh, made of a green metal with uh, what appears to be a dragon on the on the um, on the uh, in in gar engraved on the blade. Okay, that's so rad. I'm just gonna pick it up. This is a <laughs> yeah. This is a uh, plus two uh, scimitar of dragon slaying. It has plus 13 to hit and damage against, against dra draconic enemies and does uh, uh, 1d6 damage uh, with a critical a critical range of 17 to 20. Ooh. That sounds fucking cool. Grad's on the new sword. Whoever's picking that up. Probably Ash. Yeah, Ash, Ash I'm assuming, is keeping the cool oh. dragon slaying I'm going to give it a, a quick... Slice up and down. How finessable does this feel? Oh, it feels very finessable. This is a this is in fact a finessable weapon. Yeah. Oh, then we're good. Um. So yeah, so you get a um a a uh, a scimitar of dragon slaying. Um, 
for for being our expert uh our expert um trap and and box opener hell yeah box diffuser as it were nice and this is just the first little bit of this dungeon there's so much left to do all right so let's be on our way let's boogie I'm just gonna put your your NPCs in a, in a centralized location so I can uh, move them all together. One second, y'all! I can only reveal areas as quickly as you can move there. <laughs> yeah, you must boogie. Why well, we move there? It is time to boogie. Ooh, a button. Uh, that is actually a closed door. Oh, love is an open door. Okay. <laughs> So inside, uh, you see Ooh. that even though you have a good bit of, of dark vision, uh, where your vision stops appears to be magical darkness. Ooh. Uh, is it like <laughs> illusion? I uh, let me let me check. If it's illusion, I get a bonus on my will saves to see through it. Okay. I think. I don't fucking know. <laughs> if it's just magical darkness, as in, like, the AoE thing, then it doesn't usually, but it, it might be an illusion. You never know. Uh, this is an evocation spell. Ow. How dare they? Uh, yeah, actually, um, candle friend, <laughs> you can light the way. I cast Magic Missile at the darkness. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, you hear as you cast Magic Missile into the darkness, uh, a <gasps> roll damage for Magic Missile. Boy, do I hate that. Four. Okay, so this takes four damage. As you see a zombie stumble out of the darkness. Oh, it's... Oh, I thought I was hurting something. Oh. Sentient, I'm sorry. Ah, eh, fuck this thing. <laughs> now, uh, Zephyr, from what you know from, from living in, in Moonshade, is that zombies very, very seldomly live alone. They live in hordes. Hmm. Roll initiative, everybody. Oh no, close the door. That was going to be my move. I mean, you can step out and close the door if you want. That's a good plan, that's a um, good plan. We're just going to do that. We're going to hold the initiative for a second. We're going to close this door. Okay. Um, so. Stick, is this the right way? Uh, I, that's where I remember putting my keys to my bedroom. You slept here around here? Uh, yes, I lived here. This was my home. This isn't. This okay, isn't are they hard. stacked up on the door now? They hear. Doom, doom. Doom, doom, doom. As they are sure? beating on the door. Okay. I would like to slide into where Juniper is. Okay. Hello. First door, I want you to open the door. You're, you're strong, right? I am very strong. Use better hands to okay. break rock and get ore. You see Beautiful. Raymond kind of run up. What in the fuck did you do? <laughs> I, what I need you to do is I need you to open the door exactly three inches, and if anything bangs on it, don't open it any more. Don't open it any less. Yeah, he is all the request, but uh, and you see him hold up like the side of his hand, gauging roughly how many fingers is three inches. That's about the the size of a, uh, his his like uh, half of his finger because his hands are fucking huge. You know, like, width of two is probably fine. That's... 
Jim Lewis, and he uh, he tries to open the door three inches to see. Uh, you see a zombie hand attempt to like grasp out at you. I love that. Uh, how hard would I have to shut? <laughs> oh my god! Burning I stick my hands. hand through too. Okay. Um, what what level are you casting this spell at? I don't know. It's a racial ability. Okay. So you because it's a racial ability, uh, you can cast it up to your your current level. Wait, what level are you guys currently? So I believe you could... If Rugs were a wizard, what level spells would he be able to cast? Third? Uh, let, me, let me get that pulled up. Uh, what is the question? If... What what level uh, what level spells would a fifth level wizard be able to cast? Oh, they... I think okay, third. Is someone trying to counterspell this burning hands? No, because rugs can upcast it to different to Oh. So for upcasting it, isn't that basically just treating it's, it as if it's cast level. level higher? Yeah. Yeah. It just increases. I, it it says level, it says so. you're right on the roll twenty, actually. Yep. It says maximum five D four. Yeah, that's why I'm asking, because damage. Um yeah, it's a first it's a first level spell up to five D four. Okay. Um, so you do six fire damage? Uh, okay. So, um, we click. Uh, so they're unable to make the save because they're stacked against each other. Um, so one of them takes six. This one takes six. That one, uh, the one in back takes six. But the, the rest, the one behind that one doesn't take any damage because it's around the corner. Okay, my next my next thought was a grenade, but that might not hold up. To, to I mean, hold. if you want to throw a grenade in and slam the door shut, that's up to you. You would, however, know that that would could cause a cave in. Yeah, let's which let's just would, shut the door for a second. Which would potentially kill all of them. Uh, Bridge door, make a strength check to see if you can slam the door on the, the skeleton's hand. Yeah, that'll uh, do it. 24. Okay. Right. We just have a severed hand fall at our feet now. Yeah, and the and the uh, the zombie takes 10 damage from the hand being removed. <laughs> Jennifer's going to pick up the hand and put it in her bag. <laughs> You're just having a dead hand in your bag now. All right, cool. Yeah. Uh, Raymond just goes, What? The actual fuck is happening right now. Uh, there's a room full of zombies. I thought I could deal with it. Turns out, I'm not actually magical. No duh, dipshit. <laughs> um, what's the plan? No need to be rude. Uh, you see your kobold friend. That was very not nice, giant lion man. Um, hey, uh, Ash, can you do that Burning Hands thing, like, as a cantrip? Um, I think it's a daily. Let me pull it yeah. up. Well, do you have any other fire things you can do to, like, seal the door, perhaps? Let me take a quick look at my stat. Alternatively, how about the, uh, the fairy? Do you happen to have, like, sealed door spells or fire? I have fire? I have fireball! That might be a bit too big, actually. <laughs> I can I can throw a fireball in the room. We're thinking small. I mean, actually, you I mean, know fireball what? Fireball doesn't really throw a fireball into a room. If you want to lob a fireball like right here, then yeah, I say go for it. Um. Okay. Uh. Can I restore? Can I just squeeze, squeeze past here? Um. Uh. And she'll look in through the keyhole and cast fireball. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, and because they are stacked up... What are up, the odds this explodes in the keyhole? Uh, not, because what happens when you cast Fireball is you point at a point in space 
and the fireball erupts from there. It's a uh, space do I also from. Need to make a... uh, no, because you're. It's it's gonna be too far away. Oh no! I'm asking if I need to make another strength check because, like, at force and debris might uh, hit the door and try and either open it or blow it off its hinges. No, you're okay. Cool. You've also got me backing you up. Hell yeah! Okay, so it is once a day. Uh, caster level is my character level, and DC is 11 plus my charisma. Okay, cool. So you could have bumped that up. Uh, damage-wise. Uh, so she's gonna do 66 damage. Oh, that's right. I was level 3 when I added it to the sheet I didn't upgrade. Yep. Um, so... These three take 15 damage each. As you are cheesing the shit out of this encounter. <laughs> As expected. Uh, I can't cast that spell again. That is I mean, hey, my, my uh, only third third level spell. You still did wonderfully. Thank you. And she'll like flutter back to the other side. <laughs> Hold on. I have an idea. Oh god. Let's go. What would happen if break door off hinges, I push door and try and run over a zombie? You could I would need you to make me a strength check. Can I help um, with this? Can I, like, brace up against, behind, like, restart as, like, a secondary, smaller, however, still very strong uh, uh, brace? Yeah, you can. So, Bristor, what you'll be doing is rolling me a strength check at advantage. I love this. Oh, come on, my man. So, Bristor attempts to do this, and all it succeeds in doing Hold is on. jamming the door. You may. Could I use one of my... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to use an inspiration because... Uh... Ooh. So you're able to do that. Um, what I need from you is I need you to roll me uh, a d12 for damage. Hell yeah. Uh, straight d12. It would be one melee, just, just an add a d12. Just a d12, straight d12. This is an improvised weapon. One damage. Just so you're aware, you can use inspiration on more than just... You didn't type it right. You didn't type it right, so it didn't actually roll. Ah, okay. Yeah, you, you don't... over it, it'll show you why it, it didn't actually roll. It's just because you don't want uh, it. Won't, it won't show me. It, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the point. You need it to be able to. Yeah, here, I'll do it. I'll, I'll roll. It's because of the end bracket that you added at the end of the D12. Okay, so uh, you do 11 points of damage. And you are able to move up to 10 feet. So you are able to kill the first two zombies, I believe. Hell yeah. I'm not positive. Hold Towers on. Have cleave. Hold Fuck on. Yeah. Hold on. Let me. So you're not able to kill but the first zombie. Uh, you, you almost kill the second zombie, but you do not quite kill, uh, the, se the, the second one. Um, and you are holding this, this door like a shield now, um, as the zombie tries to claw around you. Um, this zombie is hella dead. I'm just gonna move it out of the way. Um, no one else can fit within the space you're in, by the way, Bridge Door, because it is a five foot space. <laughs> Don't Pretty worry, sure I can just... send my snake in. Pretty sure just holding up the door. Will not lie. If this is most entertained, I have been well down here. Uh, you are standing on a corpse, by the way. Just, just so you're aware. I know. 
Oops, isn't moving. Not, not anymore, no. It's not moving for now. I think that's going to be the end of Prishtor's turn because I don't have... Well, I'm not going to... This isn't technically the initiative because you guys are... Like, I'm... I can't count this as combat. <laughs> <laughs> this is too goofy for combat. Yeah, this is this is far too goofy. It's far too many japes <laughs> for combat. <laughs> Can't do turn, turn, turn with this. This is too No, silly. this is far too silly. <laughs> this is more puzzle solving than combat. Yeah, this is this is definitely more of a puzzle solving thing than combat. Okay. We're gonna do a run up, I'm gonna push push to the forward a little bit more. Yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, go ahead and uh, Bristor, you're gonna roll me another strength check with advantage. <sighs> roll damage. Um. <laughs> okay. Only for that. You time. do you do another you do another four points of damage. You are unable to kill the uh you're unable to kill it, but you know what? Fuck it. Your your lion friend is gonna help. Uh, and yeah. roll again. Restore. <laughs> Congo line of death. 23 on the first roll. Roll. Oh, I... Yeah, just... You go ahead and roll. Roll the second one just in case. I want to see if you nat 20. <laughs> Mother <laughs> fucker. <laughs> Okay, roll me 2d12, and then add another 12 points. Yeah! <laughs> so this one's just dead. I'm just going to move him out of the way and make him dead. 25 damage! Alright, all three of them are dead. All three of the ones that were in your way are just hella dead. Uh... <laughs> They should be. <laughs> and Bristor, you are right here, but you do take an attack of opportunity from the zombie. That's fair. Perfectly you, fair. You do take an attack of opportunity from the zombie. Um, Would it be at advantage against me? No. No, you, okay. it's just a it's just a, sing, a single attack. Uh, I'm assuming nine does not hit your AC. No, and <laughs> oh, this is just amazing. Um, I cannot believe you cheesed three forty HP enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Can you blame us? What do you do when you see a, a zombie slowly shuffling toward you? Uh, it's despair. You cheese it. It's the Zombos! Cheese it! <laughs> Cheese it! It's the Zombs! <laughs> Alright, so what are you doing now, Bristor? Um. I guess we. I'd like to move here so okay. that the rest of the crew can filter their way in. Yeah, no, go ahead. Everybody that passes that five foot square is gonna get an attack of opportunity. Just so you're aware. So because of because of how I move, would I not provoke another? No, no that's attack a five foot step. That's a five foot step. Ah, uh, fair, fair. Are we using the unchained uh, action economy, by the way? Yep. Yes, you are. Cool beans. Uh, so what are you doing, uh, smallish owl bear? Oh, um, I'm gonna five foot step, and I think I can bull rush if I use both actions. Is this true? Uh, so you're not you're not in initiative combat yet. Okay. Um, but are you if you would like to bull rush this thing, yeah, you can. Yeah, I'm gonna shove this thing back. Uh, as, uh, probably as much as I can, but five feet will do. 
Is this just a strength roll, BAB? Uh, I believe it's a BAB. Or CFB, rather. Yeah, CFB. Cool beans. That'll be a 15. Okay. Uh, and that's against his CMD, right? Yeah, usually. Alright, let me open up his character sheet. Unfortunately, CMDs are usually really fucking good, so I'm pretty sure I failed that. We'll find out. Uh, he is a, a standard-ass zombie. His CMD is six. <laughs> Word. Yeah. His CMD is six? No, his CMD is 14. Never mind. I'm, I'm wrong. Uh, his CMB is I mean, six. Hey, I still beat it. <laughs> yeah, you still beat it, but like... Um, yeah, you were able to... Does this do any damage to the zombie, or do you just push it backwards? I mean, if you want me to write, roll bite for it, but I just kind of want to shove him. Uh, yeah, you're able to just shove him back, and now your party can shuffle in. And now that you are fully in the room, you can see the rest of it. Uh, which would be... Ooh, is that the, a necromancer? The zombie lord. Uh, Bertrand goes, oh shit! That's my dead body. <laughs> you want back inside? No, no, thank you. I um, I I think that would be a very bad idea. Bet you we could stake him with you. Probably, actually, that I don't know what that would do. Um, however, before before combat starts, I am going to take a short short break. I will be right back, folks. Okay. Uh, let's let's stretch out that break a little. I'm gonna go grab something for me to eat real quick. Okay. I'm gonna pretend I'm gone, but I'm gonna stay right here.
Okay, I have returned, and we will be... Hell, uh, Hello, everybody! I have returned! How are you? Hello. Very good. How are you? I am better now. <laughs> um, when, we la when we left for our break, you had just discovered uh, Bertrand Rhyme Smile's dead body. Or, I suppose, so, so undead surprised. body. Well, it's, it'll be dead soon enough. Uh, your your, um, your uh, lion companion is going to uh, approach, as is the fairy and the level one kobold. I believe in you. That kobold's going to be level 50 by the end of this. <laughs> Um, okay, so what are you doing? Currently, you're um, still not quite first? in in uh, in initiative order yet. Is he moving? Uh, no, the the this the, the the zombie lord still appears to be like laying in his coffin. Okay, I got an idea. But I'm gonna be sneaky about it. Okay. What is your idea? Okay, we're gonna sneak up on him. Uh -huh. Hopefully, I can do that with a thirty. Yeah, with a thirty, a thirty, you absolutely can. You sneak from coffin to coffin, just kind of <laughs> very quietly. Yes. And I'm going to. Poke him with the stick. Poke him with the stick. Okay. Um. Alright. So, as you do this, as you poke him with the stick, you see the stick explode in your hand. Um. As. Guys, I broke the stick. His body slowly begins to morph i now have to find a picture i you know what i'm just gonna use uh i'm just gonna use mushroom man's uh token because oh, fuck it. um uh he, they look similar enough in life um we're going to delete him. And then standing in front of you is a living Bertrand Rhyme Smile. Oh, this is Heck yeah. interesting. Um, and then because of this, because the uh, the body uh, had been, the, the, the zombie lord had been the reason that this was alive, this is now a corpse again. Oh, this yeah. is Problem indeed solved. interesting. <laughs> I am alive. Hmm. Well, hello, everyone. Hello. I will have to get him a character sheet made. But... <laughs> um, I... Well, for now, we know he can cast shield and magic missile. Yeah, for now, that's, that's what you know he can cast. Um, I have not been alive in quite some time. Um, thank you. Thank you for reviving me. I don't know how that worked, but scientifically, it seems like it could, I suppose. I, that was the hope. Let's be honest with me. I don't me. know what this science mumbo jumbo is, but sure. Be honest with me. Were you just bullshitting and, and hoping something worked? That's how I live my life, sir. As... Honestly, it's a good way to live your life. Um, it worked out really well for my, my predecessor, um, uh, Lord Tavellian. Ooh. Why does that name sound familiar? Uh, he's a god. Huh? He's one of the gods. Oh. God of magic. Might have seen him around. 
Sounds familiar, so you're probably right. I I would assume I am right. He did teach me everything I know. Patron of the second coolest part of the Feywild, you know. I disagree. Technically, that would be uh, Titanus that is the patron of the second coolest part of the Feywild. Oh, no. Now, now you're the one who is mistaken. Uh, Titanus is the coolest one. Ha, ah, I'm sorry. I would have to disagree with you. Um... But yes! I mean, you, you can disagree. Just continue to be wrong. Uh, no, I'm sorry. You are the one who has the wrong opinion. Um, you find a rather large pile of treasure as you, as you, um, uh, as you argue with the, uh, rather, uh, uh, androgynous wizard in front of you. Uh, just for aesthetic-wise, he is a tall, uh, half-elven man... Long red hair with a thick braid down the back of the middle of his, like, uh, long hair. Um, he is, uh, effeminate is a good way to describe him. Uh, and he has very large incisors. Take that as you will. Ah, definitely, uh, even more undead than I had expected. Um, by the way, is there loot here? Yes, there is. There's a very large... Uh, like it's a, it's a, uh, a grouping of, of, uh, of sacks with, uh, with, with like things inside. If you want to roll me a D10. You got it. Um, can I roll like perception or knowledge arcana to see if like the resurrection altered him in some way? You may. Mm -hmm. Uh, which would you have me roll? Uh, Knowledge Arcana. Um, you find in in the in the bag, uh, ten gold pieces, and a uh, hand axe that does not look like it has been touched by time. You have no fucking idea, Bristor. Yeah, that's fair. I, he was just gonna so keep just the gonna... suspicion up because you know suspicion. Could you describe again what that was? Um, uh, you got ten gold pieces and a hand axe that appears to just be, even though th that it's been sitting here for like you know two, three thousand years, looks like it's brand new. Cool. Um, would you like a magic hand axe, anybody? Lion now. Nope. You gave your the lion a sword. Cobalt to come up. Uh, I'll take a hand axe, yeah. Pretty sure uh, we're running out of people that use weapons. Here you go. <laughs> Do you not use any weapons? I use my teeth. Yeah, but like, you could also use a weapon. Why would I? This one's simple enough. I don't know. Do your, are your teeth magic? Sometimes. Yeah, but Actually, not all the time. the time. Now. Okay. And he just takes the hand axe and puts it in his little belt. There you go. Don't die with that. I will try right. not to. Good. Uh, all right. So where are you guys going now? I'm going to follow Wait, the did wizard. You get this key already? Uh, yeah, the wizard picked up the key. Cool beans. You're just picking up a small army of NPCs again, like you did in the last. Yeah. I mean, is it really any surprise? You know, with this party, no. I'm going to follow the wizard. Uh, the wizard The wizard seems to be following you guys. Uh, you know the way out? The way. I, do know, out I, I do I know the way it. out. Uh, I do know the way out, but I do not, uh, I, I, I am interested to see where your party goes from here. Probably down. Uh, you could also give us, you know, advice. On um, you, you do realize I've been stuck in a box for like a thousand years? I don't fucking remember you half of this shit. your own basement. 
Listen. So many exciting things have distracted you that you can't remember. No, a thousand years of being stuck in a dark hole have made it where my memory is a little fuzzy. I'm just here. I don't actually have faith. You just look like somebody I know. <laughs> <laughs> You look like somebody I have beef with. Okay, there is another another door in front of you. Um, do you open the door? Yes. Uh, one second. I gotta I gotta see if I can. I wonder if there's a way for me to hide thingy things. Oh yes, there is. Awesome. I don't think you can see that now. Um. Let me see if I can, if I reveal this, can you see the thing that I hid? The red stuff? No, the totally red can't see the lava. The lava's there. The lava's meant to be there. It's not what I'm talking about. And then, yes, all we can see is the lava. Okay, cool. Um, all right, yeah, so you see, see a room with lava in the center. Does he remember a lava room? Do you remember a lava room? I remember there were many traps that were built into this place. Um, You're I not very helpful. No help. Are you? <laughs> Listen, I, again, have been trapped in a box for a thousand years. Can I roll an insight check to see if this guy is fully crazy? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, I didn't have insight. Uh, sense motive. There we go. <laughs> Hold on. 14. Uh, you'd know that over the years he's probably lost some of his memory, but he's not crazy. He just doesn't exactly remember. And he was killed here. Like this is where how he, where he died. Okay. Like this he, this was a war there was a war that where people invaded and he died here. I just I was so excited to like roll one of my cool I did not put a single point into sense motive. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Uh, is anyone other than Bristor entering the room? Sure. Norris. I am keeping the wizard within arm's reach. Okay, uh, if he will move with you if you move into the room. Okay. Because if he tries, if he some, does some sort of wizard portal, I'm getting out. <laughs> dimension I'm going, doors. I'm going straight through that dimension door with him. Well, dimension door only goes 30 feet, so. Uh, Bristor, roll me a perception check. Ooh, yeah, you, you have you have no idea. I don't see anything. You don't see you don't see nothing. You you see nothing. Do I have any more? Which um, door you see nothing? You have from what my count three. You have, you have three counts of inspiration left uh, from my count. That's probably more accurate than mine. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll perception once more. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Ah, 27. Bristor, uh, you, much like uh, the smallish owlbear before you, see a button. Bristor, uh, deciding impulse control just slows him down, pushes the button the moment he sees it. Oh, wonderful. All right, cool. Let me, let me switch over to my tab where I can do this. Um... So you push the button, and as you do, a platform in the center of the uh, a platform in the center of the uh, of the room raises, and on it is a massive fire elemental. <laughs> I'm going to yell to him in Ignan. Okay, what are you yelling? What's up, my guy? Yo, what up? 
How's it going? I mean, I've been just chilling in this lava pool for a good little while, so it's, it's, it's going. All right, cool. Uh, you bound here? I mean, no. Here? This is. I was just told to stay here and guard the temple. If intruders came, are you intruders? I mean, you're kind of you're with the wizard, so I would assume you're not. But yeah, we're on our way out. Oh, yes. okay, that's chill. Um, you need directions? <laughs> He's not. He wasn't the smartest. He's really not. You do you know the way out? I mean, I know that the hallway down there on the other side is a dead end, leads to a spike okay. trap. Um, but if you can, if you activate the golem, she can take you to uh the the bard room, uh which can bypass. From what I remember, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, she can bypass the bars that block off the direct access to the exit, so you can just move past the, the temple. Thank you. That is... But you also would then have to convince the golem to go with you and do that. I She's kind like of a bitch. Oh, no doubt. But, you know what? I, I, think, we can, I think we can do it. I mean, as up also, to you... Also, it's been like a thousand years or whatever... You're probably, you know, whoever told you to stay here, you're probably you're probably good to go, oh my guy. I mean, it was Thorane Hell Queen, and I'm not trying to disobey. Oh, okay, that's like, true. That's true. <laughs> like Who's I don't that? I don't like pissing off the gods. God, got it, okay. Yeah, the goddess of the nine hells, you know. Big dragon lady. Word for it. Uh this is one god that you would know because she's at Moonshade a lot. <laughs> big dragon lady, got it. Okay. Yeah, big no, tall dragon god, lady. Cool. Um, yeah, uh, so, like, I'm just gonna chill here. Alright, cool. I'll, uh, if I see her, I will... Uh... Let her know. Just tell her Roger's still chilling in the pool. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Appreciate it. And then he will go back to, to chilling in the pool. This is my favorite encounter so far. All right, so he said that going this way is a waste of time. There's a spike trap, and we can try and convince the golem to uh, bypass some iron bars or something and the temple. Oh, yes, that is right. The temple can be bypassed, but I just didn't assume we uh, the, the golem was still active. Normally, she doesn't let people through. I assumed um, you had defeated her. Uh, she was napping. Ah, okay. So you just didn't activate her. For a second. That, that makes sense. We also could right. go through the temple, if you would, if you so wish. I'm pretty... Uh, whose temple? Um, the temple was to Tethala, the goddess of the moon. Why does that sound familiar? I recommend we do not go through the temple. Uh, uh, she broke hand, She broke my hand before. Do not want to try and give her any more excuse. God, you, oh. you got your hand broken by the goddess of war and survived. To be fair, to be fair on both parties, she was not being talkative. I wanted drink. She had drink. My goodness, she must have calmed down since the gods' war. Um, in my day, she would have just out and out killed you for that. That is fucking hot. <laughs> you know, I can't help but agree. Um, what, um, so yes, we could go through her temple. Um, there is a small uh, trial, uh, or we could tr attempt to go around my uh, my domicile. Uh, now that we have the key. And what is this trial? Uh, it's essentially you either s try and swim through water or lava, one of the two. That sounds like an awful trial. 
is what it is. There's some trick behind it where it doesn't damage you. I don't... I never went through it. My Again, my room goes around it. Oh, it's about having the balls. Got it. <laughs> it's trial by fire. I would assume so, yes. Though, as I had said, um, I have a way around uh, that particular um, trap. And is that the same one that the golem was going to help us through? Uh, no, there are technically two walkarounds. Um, mine is to the left, the golem's was to the right. Okay. I think we're going to try the golem. All right. That's... If we, that is, if we can convince Wait, her. You know what? Right, that's, I, I guess I should put this up to. But I'm not trying to come back the leader here. You guys, do you want to try the golem, or do you want to try trial by trial, or do you want to go to the wizard's bedroom? I, I mean, uh, is the pull after you? I was gonna say, like, is the trial just swim in this? From what I understand, it was more walk, but yes. Ah, uh, I, I'm, I'm down to kill it, sure. You're you're gonna go try you vote the to go through the temple. Yeah, sure, why not? All right. I mean, if you prove yourself vote, worthy, temple. there might be a, a a little treat. There, there might Ooh, be a reward. No, but uh, <laughs> I will do this. If anyone else would like to join me, uh, feel free. Uh, the, uh, the, the wizard will go, no, 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 not that lava. That's just lava. There's lava oh, in the temple as well. Okay. <laughs> Understand. I, I, <laughs> I was ready to just jump in. <laughs> yeah, you would have just straight up died. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, not ideal. Roger might have helped out. Yeah, Roger, Roger would have, like, pushed you out, like, whoa, 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 little dude. Uh, new elemental language. Fine, come on. <laughs> uh, Bristor, what is your vote? I'd say we do anything but sit foot in temple because last time I was again, last time I interacted with the firm had hand broken nearly lost life would rather you no, avoid giving excuse to just kill me. Okay. Your concerns are noted. I still kind of want to try the temple, though. So that's two two votes to four to th to one for the temple. <laughs> so y'all can go to the temple. Yeah. Your concerns are noted and out. ignored. <laughs> yeah, Bristor, if he gets outvoted, he's gonna follow along because like, what else is he supposed to fucking do? Where else is he gonna go? The wizard's bedroom. Yeah, that is, that is an option. Yeah. Was that the area with all the coffins? No. That was a tomb. <laughs> I am having difficulties moving my character for whatever reason. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, so... Let's see. Yeah. But yeah, uh, the wizard, when you guys get about right here, goes... Uh, over to the right over there. Ooh, that's a corpse. Uh, over to the right would have been the uh, the area where the um, where the the guardian of the temple would have taken you uh, to bypass the doors. The left over there, and he'll gesture to the other long hallway all the way to the left. That goes straight to my bedroom and my domicile where I existed. Um, and a small jaunt through a... Uh, an area known as the uh, the Reliquary's Rest, and then to the exit. 
Where the Aquarius rest sounds like there's light. That it does. Uh, breach door. If you if you open the door, um, you you see another hallway. <laughs> British door just like wants it over with. He does. He knows Pethala probably has it out for him at this point. He doesn't want to try and he wants to just get this out of the way, get this done. He wants to leave. Okay, so you, you're not going to stay for the discussion with your, your party members? Because they weren't discussing. Oh, no, he heard enough. Mm -hmm. He heard enough votes for the temple that he just figures that they're gonna go through the temple. Alright, well, you get about right here and you see there's a lizard man guarding the temple door. Lizard man doesn't quite see you yet. That's interesting, considering Brishdor's stature. It's dark in here. This, is, this place isn't lit. Your light source is a is your friend who is made of fire. That is true. Imagine not having dark vision. Imagine having eyes. <laughs> That's something old Salim couldn't have done. True, true. Alright, so... So we feel good about the trial? I'm, I'm or done. bedroom and I'm loot. Good. I also like loot. I'm, I don't know, I'm pretty easygoing. <laughs> are we going to okay. sample or not? Would prefer not, but if we are going to sample, let's go now. Prestor, if you don't want to go to the temple, we won't go to the temple. Oh, I think whatever god actually likes me at this point. All right, guys, we're not doing the temple. Uh, where are we going? All right. Uh, where are we going? That is my question. I feel, oh, I feel like Roger wouldn't steer me wrong. I would not. I, I don't believe he would either. Um, so this, here we go. Let's go this Would Roger, way. wait, okay, was this a... Mm -hmm. Did it look like this back in your day? I mean... This is the, the less, the less man-made stone, right? Uh, right? yes, I, I had a, uh, we had a purple worm at the time, uh, Dig this tunnel out for me. Okay. And that worm's not around anymore, right? Uh, no, I mean, I, I doubt it. Their lifespan is only 200 years. Okay, you can lead the way. Okay, give me one second. I'm, I'm revealing the areas. Uh, I can't, uh, so I'll, I'll move him uh, along with you guys as I reveal it. Uh, this here is my bedroom. Uh, these these doors here, and he will uh, and reveal uh, this area over here. He missed the opportunity to say this is where the magic happens. Uh, yeah, he's this is where the he's magic kind happens. of a dork, so he doesn't he doesn't quite get the the the, the nice references. Um, so he he will kind of open the door for for you guys, and he'll go. This is uh this is where I studied and and uh, and. Uh, made my magical prowess happen. Uh, and you see there's a, this room is, it's a nice little room. There's a small, uh, there's a small, um, like, uh, dresser, uh, armoire thing over here where he's putting on some newer clothes that don't smell like death and mildew. Um, there's a, a barrel of water over here, a uh, moth-eaten bed, some bookshelves, an altar with a, uh, a diamond on it, and a pair of uh, like sacks of uh, like what look like food that appear to be under a protection spell, so they don't go go bad. Okay, I'm gonna roll perception to see if I can find any signs that this guy is a freak. What kind of freak? That is the question. Either kind. Okay, roll roll a perception. You see on his on his little altar desk thing, um, a book of of magic spells entirely dedicated to tentacles. 
Respect. Okay. I think he'll come over now that he's wearing a, a nice, like, new blue robe and a new hat. Thank you for, for uh, allowing me to get changed. Yeah, at least we can do for, you know, you guys showing us a shortcut. Uh, yes, now now we just have to go through the reliquary's rest. Uh, this way. He will limp okay. you out and down. You're going to move your army of NPCs. Gonna move all of them up here. As soon as I reveal this area. Uh, this is the reliquary's rest. Um, this is where we. Uh, uh, Huffy, are you still having trouble moving your character? Hmm? Oh, uh, a little, yes. Um, this is where, uh, the reliquary of, uh, of, uh, what was at one point the, well, it was meant to house, uh, the reliquary of creation, a b orb that allowed, um, the creation of, uh, of small creatures. Um, it, uh, it, it's basically, um, when we were creating the magics that are more commonly known now, uh, uh, Lord Tevelyan was trying to create uh, an ability, uh, basically an orb that allowed people to summon small woodland animals. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, Breeshtor, upon hearing small woodland animals, reaches into one of his pockets and pulls out two rodents. Yes, much like that! I don't... Why did you get two rats? Well, you'll see. I got this rat after it bit into hand while I was trying to open door. And I got this one by making it from stone. Look at its back. It has tiny little needles. I see. He says, petting what is clearly a hedgehog, but he doesn't know it's a hedgehog. He just calls it a rat with needles. Interesting. Um, if you'll follow me, um... And as he as he walks by, he he will uh, he will uh, flip a lever uh, as you hear uh, stone and metal grind against one another uh, as a door down here opens. Uh, feel free if you would like to invent to uh, go and and. Uh, peruse through what is left. I don't know what they all, what all they left. So. Yeah, come along. All right. Maybe there's some fun wizard things in here for you. A strange little emoticon creature is, uh, is here, seems like. It is a statue. There is a statue in the yeah. center. In the center of the room. Um, it is a a statue of King, uh, King Marcus Virilius the First. Ah yes, that was the, the statue of, of King Marcus that we were we were building. Um it was meant to make fun of him because he was a dork. You know he's actually in charge again now? It's been a thousand years! He's a human! How is he still alive? I don't know. Weird. In charge of where? Uh Eos. He is he is the husband of, of the Empress Immortum. Ah. Are these unlocked? Uh, they are, in fact, unlocked. Uh, roll me a d10. Ooh. Are any of these a mimic? Uh, we shall see. I'm asking the I wizard. Roll a one. Not that I remember. I ask again at knife point. <laughs> he does I not remember. Know. You remember? <laughs> you remember now? I do not remember, but I will help you fight it if it is. Okay, good enough. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, yeah, roll me a, uh, you roll a six. Uh, you find a hundred gold coins in the first chest. Hey, nice. Uh, whoever's opening the next chest, roll me another d10. 
Breestor. Breestor finds a uh, a uh, a uh, large um, like probably larger than should fit in the box uh, shield. It is uh, it is a reflective surface in in over a large square tower shield. Uh, this is a plus two shield of spell reflection. You see Breestor just picking it up and admiring it. And then you see him get this long contemplative look of, if I use this, will I be able to punch as good? With one hand, yes. One-handed punching. Let's go. You just have a shield uh, in one hand and a punchy in the other. Hell yeah. Uh, Breach Door will uh, put on the lovely, lovely um, shield, tower shield of spell reflection, you said. Yeah, it's a plus two tower shield of spell reflection. So, uh, whatever a standard tower shield gives you, add plus two to that. Okay, now to see what a tower shield does. Yep. Um, and then, uh, would Ash like to open the third chest? Since all three of you are opening chests. Or there are three chests and three I, of you. I already opened a bunch of chests. Okay, so who's opening the third chest? I will. Roll me a d10. You got it. That's another six. You find another hundred gold coins. Hey, nice. I am now at uh, quite a bit. I'm not gonna say what I'm at. A good, good, a good bit. Uh, okay. Uh, the wizard yeah. will. Uh, the wizard will go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just, I'm just trying to get the loot straight from from this session so far. Mm -hmm. We had Orboros belt. Yep. This was Dragon's Lair. Yep. Um, ice armor. Yep. Don't remember what this was. Me either. <laughs> I remember getting a grenade from it, and that's all I remember. <laughs> I think it was money. I think it was. I think it might have been fifty gold coins. Oh, cool. Okay. The, uh, the wizard will lead you into the next room. And we'll go ahead and reveal those areas for you. Uh, this would be the exit to the temple. Uh, if you see the, the... As you can see, the doors over here... Uh, they will. They would lead you from the trial, the temple trials, uh, out into into this area. Um, and he will lead you kind of through the hallway and into the next uh, the next room. What's this? Uh, that well, is. You know, the, you the know, room. we got a peek. Okay, you open that room as as you open that the the door. You see, inside this room is uh, a pool of that same opaque liquid from the well. Hmm. Okay. This is the swim trial. <laughs> yeah, that would be the swim trial, yes. Wait, is it actually? Yeah. So I, I just gotta swim through this, and it'll make Dorian or something happy. Yeah, uh, Tethala, and you would have been swimming from here to where you're standing, because in here is the temple. Oh, understandable. You have bypassed the temple, so you don't have to do that anymore. Ooh, cool. But what's in this door? Uh, in that door is as you peek in, 
Magical Darkness. Ah, uh, hey, um, a wizard person who is our friend. Yes. What's in here? Uh, that would be another one of the trials. You walk through the darkness uh, unafraid, and something happens. I can't exactly remember. I will whisper to Juniper. Literally no help. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, goodbye, really interesting trial. <laughs> I mean, if you want to do it, you can. No, now no. that we know what's at the end, it's like cheating. We're already there. <laughs> you don't know what uh, if the, if there's a reward to the trials. Stop tempting me. We got progress to make. We gotta break these fucking records. We gotta smash that. That. that like, like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, actually, yes, How please, you know? please, everybody. YouTube, please. I need the metrics. Uh, feed the algorithm, gods, please. Uh. uh. But uh but yeah, so this is the in the ending of this temple, even though you totally didn't fight the boss. Uh uh, you just completely avoided all of the power. Who was the boss? Counters. Uh so there would the 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 golem was gonna be one of them, and then the hook horror. Ah. That yeah, you just well, completely uh, avoided fighting. Because you completely bypassed the fucking temple. Um, but yeah, to so... Fair, to be fair, it's kind of my fault. It's okay, though. Yeah, you're right. Because, like, cool. this was some good-ass... <laughs> this was some good-ass role-playing. Uh, I, I like this. So we're gonna... We're gonna go ahead and, uh, and go over here to... To the, the screen where they can see all of our lovely PNGs. As you guys make your way down and out of the out of the the uh, the, te the temple, uh, you find yourself on a large open road uh, that leads, from what it seems, into a large bioluminescent mushroom forest. You have made it out oh. of the amaranthine oubliette and into the underdark. Hell yeah! Fuck yeah! Um, and. That is where we are going to end the session for this evening. Honestly, great fucking session. Mark. Yeah. Absolutely it was. Uh, can I get a shout out for our wonderful players? Ooh, Elder Scrolls is nice. And then there's 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 one for Huffy, who was playing Infinite Fusion. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Love the Infinite Fusion, by the way. Yeah, no, Pokemon Infinite so Fusion good. is fantastic. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna find someone to raid. But what did you guys think of this uh, this evening's session? Honestly, I had a blast. Yeah, it was tons of fun. So glad we got to avoid a couple bosses. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like uh, I feel like we're a pretty capable party, but I I do kind of like the. We didn't have to fight the zombies, but we did. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> we are capable, but us and what healer? <laughs> I mean, you do have a, a you do have a a, a paladin with you. Yeah. Maybe I'll multi-class one day. We'll see. As soon as I find out about some gods, maybe I'll learn to... <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and raid Ruby. We're going to go ahead and raid Ruby, since Ruby is streaming. Um, and, uh, yeah, y'all y'all folks have a wonderful evening, and thank you for joining us. I really, as always, I really, really, really appreciate you guys for playing, and thank you, everybody, for, for, uh, for joining. Uh, you folks have a wonderful evening. Bye now.